got a, a new bean head today. Uh, it's a, I think this is a 35 foot Mac Don Draper head. I think it's around a 2012 model. So uh, we're going to get it picked off here and then uh, he's going to set it all up. So get her off here and uh, see what it does. So here's the new to us Macdon Draper head. Uh, it's a uh, FD70 Flex Draper. And uh, it's a 2012 model. Uh, it's got uh, it pivots right in here both ways and then up and down. It's got big springs right there. And uh, so it's basically gravity fed is what uh, the guy was telling me uh so you leave the combine this is a contour master so the throw itself will pivot but you leave this uh level and then the head does all the pivoting it'll go uh with the ground so if this is higher it'll tilt it all by itself uh combine don't have to do nothing uh there's them big springs there for the up and down and then there's uh can't remember where the springs are for the side to side but everything is uh on the head now not the combine uh you got these locking plates here and here for uh when you set on the head it'll lock it so it don't jiggle and all that and then uh come around to the front here uh you got a two-piece reel here split in the middle uh they'll so that way when you're pivoting they give there too and then uh, you got three belts here one on each side and then your center uh this head was gone completely through uh they got all new belts on it sickles guards all that stuff uh, they went through changed all the oil greased it all that so it's completely 100 percent ready to go you got to um make sure the main grease points are your uh wobble box or the i i don't know if they still call them wobble boxes on here but runs your sickle and uh, that's got to be greased and uh you got center points here or pivot points right there uh that's got to be greased every 25 hours one pump but other than that uh it's pretty uh easy running machine uh the um all the other grease points is just once a year so that's pretty simple and then uh maintenance is pretty easy there's uh the oil for your gear boxes um gotta check them other than that uh you just run it and uh it does everything there but there's uh some more springs for i think that's your uh up and or side to side pivot there but definitely a nice looking head 
the guy he said will be extremely happy with it uh, you'll have a lot less shatter loss and even crop uh, feed into the combine because with belts when you cut them this the reel comes around knocks them on the belt then it evenly takes them all in the auger it auger it and it kind of bunch them up and all that and lose a lot of head loss because of that and uh, with these shouldn't have much uh, head loss because it uh, cuts them and feeds them right in on a belt so even if you do lose some it goes on the belt and feeds it in anyways so definitely liking the head so hopefully uh, we get to try it out this year uh, we're gonna have quite a few acres of beans so uh we'll definitely put it to the test but got it from uh uh equipment dealer uh down by indianapolis uh called uh glasscock uh they're uh we bought this from them and that uh, tmr mixer from them i think we bought something else from them, i can't remember but great guys to work with uh they came out set everything up on here uh, he had to put an extra switch in the cab so he did that uh ran through everything with me <clears throat> on how to adjust anything on here and uh he said if have any questions just call him anytime and uh any day so definitely uh want to make sure um the customer's happy so that's why we're dealing with them quite a bit now it seems like so great guys to work with so definitely uh if you need anything around uh well shoot we're about two hours away from and uh, they come up here no questions asked so they sell uh macdon coons uh jaylor uh just about you name it type of stuff so they're kind of more your uh it's not off brand but it's not like deer case stuff like that so they're uh really good people to deal with and uh find you what they need and uh they're really knowledgeable on everything so definitely check them out if you need anything but now i'm gonna get this thing washed up got the uh, mac and hopper bottom here <clears throat> as you can see got mud caked on it from uh when we did a couple fields was a little muddy and uh tires don't have mud flaps so flings mud all over it but for the most part it's not horrible because usually i have this all caked up in mud too but it's uh not too bad so hopefully uh don't take too long and then the rest of it's just really just like little little things of uh mud and dust on it so the back here is not too bad either <clears throat> just got a little bit on here so and ran it through some salt and got a little bit on it which not too happy about that but this is what it is so we'll get these cleaned up these rims should shine up pretty good and same with the sides here so we'll get uh, everything set up here and get this thing washed up
got the truck and trailer all washed up here as you can see it does a really good job of bringing back the shine uh, these rims are already awfully uh, dull so they didn't shine them up but everywhere else it really shined them up and uh, brought all the color back in the white brought the chrome out some well aluminum then the uh, rims really look nice I uh, did the two-step wash and waxed so it looks pretty good so if you guys uh, are looking for a wash uh, this one I'd definitely take a look at it image wash they do a dang good job of uh, cleaning it up what I do is do the spray both of them and then uh, scrub it and then uh, power wash it and then uh, spray the wax on and then scrub the wax in and then power wash it off so it is a lot more extra work but to me I think it's definitely worth it, it really brings out the shine in it so definitely give uh, image wash a look see what you guys think well last night uh, we got this separated here uh, not too sure why the manual says that you got to separate this to pull the um, cutter bar or stationary knife out because uh, you I think what the manual wants you to do is pull all this stuff off and I really don't see the use in that there's a big spring right here that uh, hooks from there up into here from a eye bolt here and uh, all I did was took that off of both sides and uh, then I took a took this pry bar pried it up and then put a block in there and uh, let me get a light here that way um, you can get this really to stay up and then uh, you can flip this bracket up uh, over and then your stationary knife sits right on here and um, then all you do is pull that out so I got that out and um, got it over here the issue we got now is uh, this is a different knife as you can see it's all flat where this one's got a lip there that's where your um, brackets sat on so I uh, need a different knife here I looked them up online this is the right part number uh, or it says this fits in this machine which uh, looked it up or called the John Deere dealer and um, they said that there's uh, I think there's a grass knife um, corn knife corn and grass knife and uh, I think he said there's like four or five options and uh, we told him just to get the uh, corn and grass one because um, we do a little bit of bowl so uh, I think they said that it'll be here tomorrow, I think my dad said, so hopefully it comes in, that way we can get this project done, but um, like I said, I don't really know why they wanted you to pull this off unless you, I don't think you'd have cl clearance issues with this tire because that pulley there sits where this belt is and then you're still in front of that, so I'm not too sure, but pulled it off anyways uh it only took i don't know about an hour and a half by myself and uh half of that was uh, trying to figure out what i was doing so it's really not a bad uh step or procedure here uh you got two bolts that are one bolt on this side one bolt on this side there's these big bolts here uh and those of course you take off last but uh <clears throat> so you got these two hoses here go to them two hoses and then you got uh, a couple just plug-in wires that you got to unplug. You got the two up top here uh, that go into the cab. Then you got your metal detector and then uh, your grease zerks, which I think is just two. Yeah, you got two of them. You can't really see them, but two of them right back there. So uh, pulled them off. Uh, there's nothing, I don't believe there's anything on that side besides the belts which those were a pain to get off because you got to pick up uh, that big pulley and you can't really see it but there's a big pulley back in here on the cylinder you got to pry it up and then uh, hook a chain to hold it up but 
that was about the hardest part getting them off but uh got them off uh unhooked everything and then uh they come with these uh pretty neat little stands they got uh, flat bottoms and they got tube and then it goes hooks into that there sorry about that uh got them tubes so then they can't slide or nothing so pretty uh pretty nice little setup and uh, then you just take two bottle jacks, jack it up, and uh, it don't, can't go nowhere. So I uh, did that, jacked it up, and then uh, took these two bolts off here. And then uh, they just sit on this, um, I don't know what you want to call it, but big uh, piece of metal. And uh, one on each side, and uh, you just unbolt that. And then uh, these kind of clamp down on each other and uh you just lift them or lower them and uh and just back away so pretty uh easy anyways and uh what we're gonna do uh that way now one you can get to this blower a lot easier you can stand right here instead of crouching on top of this trying to reach over so that'll be easier and then we can take a look at our kernel processor while we got it this far apart and uh, be able to check over all these bearings and everything inside here make sure everything's still good to go uh, so we're going to do the knives check over that get this stuff kind of cleaned up because uh, these here they uh, weren't taking grease too too good anymore you can see this one's pretty dry here but uh, <clears throat> so we're going to do some maintenance on this uh, check over all this do the um, gear oil and stuff and uh, then these knives. So uh, trying to get a um, torque wrench because these, uh, if you tighten these down too much, they create stress fractures in them and then uh, you start breaking knives out. Uh, we found that out on our, uh, what well, we have a 58 third, I think a 58 30 or 58 20 uh, self-propelled chopper. And uh, we were breaking knives in it like crazy. Well. What we were doing was uh, taking the old Milwaukee Impact and uh, running them down. Well, uh, once we got this one, we uh, looked into that a little bit better, and you're supposed to torque them down to, I think, that one, I think like 175, 180, something like that. I'll have to re-look that up, but um, you torque them too much, then they crack them, so uh, we were taking the Impact and uh, running them down as tight as we can get them, so... Uh, we found out that was part of our problem, but now we're gonna try taking care of this one uh, the right way now since we got this shop to work in. So we're gonna do this the right way, but uh, so that's what we're gonna do, uh, get this thing ready to go. I don't think we're gonna do any uh, spring chopping uh, cause we got plenty of uh, uh, what we do triticale and uh, all that other stuff so I think my dad said we're good on that but uh, we still need to get this thing done and uh, get it out of here but uh, got a little bit more time so but so we're gonna do that get these changed I'm gonna work on these tonight I'll probably get these the blower knives out uh, it's already um, I think it's about three four o'clock something like that we uh well this morning i was working on getting this knife out of here and stuff and had round bales to go out so uh, i've been doing that but uh so right now we're gonna get these uh knives pulled out see how they look and uh go from there Have to go find something here. Probably get a piece of string or something. And we'll uh, hold this door open that way we can work in here. <clears throat> so if you guys remember uh, last year, I believe uh, springtime, uh, we had problems with this thing blowing. Uh, it'd come in here and it get plugged up in this um, right after the kernel processor here. 
and get plugged up in this canal or channel, whatever, right here. And I want to ever get into a blower. Well, you can see all this uh, just caked on um, it's old silage is what it is. And um, we're going to get that cleaned out, get all this stuff cleaned up. And uh, there's quite a bit of clearance in between these knives here and the blower. So we're going to gap everything right. And uh, we're going to pull all these knives off. Get these uh, sharpened because these are dull real bad. Uh, like I said, these don't really chop nothing. It's just more or less to blow it, but you still want this to do something. So uh, we'll take these off, sharpen these up a little bit. Uh, like I said, it's not spo supposed to really do nothing, so it doesn't have to be perfect. But we'll get these uh, pulled off here, uh, get all this stuff cleaned up here and uh get these adjusted right i'll have to uh i'll have to see about getting a um uh what is it called feeler gauge i guess for it get this gapped right but uh we'll pull these off i think these are I believe these are 15 16 they might be seven eighths but uh we'll see here Yeah, so they're 15 sixteenths here. So what we're gonna do is just basically loosen these up. up. And uh, we'll pull these off. So much uh, debris on here, which this also doesn't help any because it throws this thing out of balance. Or anyways, I would think it would. Uh, let me go grab a thing, go wobble socket will fit on here. So I'll grab that and uh, get these buzzed off. I got all the knives out of here, as you can see. I uh, started cleaning the sides up and the bottom down in there. Got all this stuff and all this stuff on the floor here. Uh, I still gotta get this stuff. Uh, there's some in like the back here. Can't really see that, but there's some in the back that the knives don't hit because the way this thing works is uh, you got a big gap here, but then as it goes around, your material's coming in here. And then it comes closer to it back there in the bottom so it pushes it up but you got a big gap here so this stuff gets built up and then in the back uh, get a light here you can see that's shiny back in there so it uh, catches more so right in there and then you got all this buildup up here too but uh, again the sides cleaned off get that stuff cleaned out of here but I uh, got some of the knives uh, cleaned up here. Uh, I got 
Those are one, two, three, four, five of them that were uh, still in good shape. So I sharpened, sharpened them up, got them uh, nice and smooth. Uh, got the ones over here. The ones, uh, there was a handful of them, they weren't any good, uh, or I don't want to reuse them because they're, don't know how well the camera picks it up, but right in here, it's awfully low, so uh, all these aren't in the greatest of shape. Uh, this one I cleaned up, uh, it was the first one, and then I, uh, it not horrible, but uh, I'm gonna check uh we're changing all the knives in the um um uh, the main drum here uh so we'll see uh which ones are good in here we're gonna change all of these get them new again uh there's some uh, let's see yeah like this one here you can see that's got pretty pretty bad there's one that is really really bad uh yeah like this one here got chunks taken out of it so like this one here you can see that one's pretty good still well i guess that end's not but there's a handful of these that are still good so what we're gonna do is uh pull them out uh check them uh whatever's good because i think there's 12 all together in here because i think it's three rows of four so um i'll still need uh, seven more so uh, when we change out these uh, I'll see what ones are still good uh, we'll save them and uh, reuse them in here and then if we have some extra we'll keep them but uh, we're gonna replace all these that way make sure everything's set because we're gonna have a new uh, cutter bar or stationary knife but uh they got us the wrong one so my dad's ordering that i don't know if it came uh if it's coming yet or not uh, i haven't talked to him but um we're uh, uh gonna replace that that way that's new and then we'll set all these knives that way they're uh they'll all be new that way we can set everything evenly and make sure everything's up to where it needs to be so uh, that's that uh, So it's starting to get uh, Pretty late. I think it's about six o'clock. So what I'm gonna do is finish cleaning this up Then I might start taking these knives out of here. That way they're uh, Done that way all I have to do is swap new ones in but I still gotta get a uh, torque wrench uh, So I'm not gonna put anything back in so we're just gonna take them out. So I'll uh, get that, get this stuff cleaned up here and uh, go from there.
Well, got all the knives out. Uh, that wasn't too bad of a job, but there's three uh, bolts per knife and they're torqued to, uh, I think that 175 to 190, somewhere around there, uh, times, I think there's 40 of them in here if I count it right. And uh, got a little half inch uh, Milwaukee, the, um, I don't know, I think they call this the uh, compact uh, one. Uh, it's got the uh, 6.0 battery. And as you can see, it's still got the, uh, rust dust on it and we're still at six uh all right uh four bars there uh, that's why i stick with milwaukee they tend to be uh batteries last longer uh, it's got plenty of torque uh, it takes them off like they're nothing and uh the battery lives i mean you can't complain about them one bit but bought this uh last year sometime uh later well i guess uh 11 11 28 so i've been using it quite often i use this over my uh half inch which is up uh it's up there uh, i don't use that one too often anymore unless i got big jobs for it because uh that one i think uh was i think 1100 tightening and 1400 loosening uh foot pounds of torque where this one i think's up to 650 somewhere around there and uh for being stubby it's a lot lighter than the other one but i uh, got the bigger battery on it this and the light here is just the uh five uh point five oh so you can see the um uh, the difference in it is quite a bit uh it's a lot longer and it's uh taller here so it's uh, a lot more of a battery but can't complain about milwaukee that's why i uh, keep getting milwaukee stuff and tend to have uh home depot they have a uh, good um sales on them that's when i buy them so i bought this one uh it was on sale for only uh, i think it was like two I think 215 and uh, came with this and one or two of them batteries so i uh, can't really complain about them but uh that's uh got this done so that's uh what i wanted to get done tonight so we'll kind of just clean this stuff up and then uh, we'll go through these knives here but uh it's getting late so i'm gonna call her a day but uh, i'll get you guys back out here tomorrow